his last 24 hours or less um, on earth and it is playing um, hard on my mind this morning it's been a year today and um, yeah I have been in this space that you are looking at now uh, for 10 years about 10 years yeah, a little a little over 10 years I'll have to look exact date on the paperwork that's down there um, as you can see from my other videos, uh, I am in a legal battle now with the so-called new owners. You can you can see the uh, videos of him coming up to the door, the front door that's over there, that one, putting stuff in my mailbox, uh, the so-called um, service poster posting stuff on my door, uh, and and. Uh, I, we are challenging that and battling that at the moment, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video here is to, uh, is to basically say a, a little video goodbye here to my neighbor uh, who'd been living here. See this big wall right there all the way across. Uh, right on the other side of this wall, I'll show you right over here, is that big wall that cuts down all the way across. That is basically the division point between uh, my place and the place next door, which is an exact duplicate of uh, this space here. So it's just this space flipped over and uh, we share that wall. So it's almost as if we are neighbors slash uh, roommates. This place was built uh, by two brothers back in the early 60s. Um, the Perry's um, discuss that a little bit further on down the road. That's the whole other story. Uh, this time last year, I was having my coffee. In fact, I'm gonna get a little more coffee right now. Come on over into the kitchen here. Um, thank you for continuing to watch. I know this one's gonna be a little bit longer video just because, well, it's been, uh, been thinking about it here on my mind. So, I'm going to flip around back over to uh, this way. Yeah, I love Pacific Beach. I do. There's that rat trap I had a video from yesterday. Set it down over this way. All right. Uh, stormy, stormy morning in uh, San Diego. That's a fort. Classic. I another story about that one, too. Talk about at some point. All right. So, um, gosh, it was it was uh, weather kind of like this last year about this time. And um, around the corner over there is 7-Eleven, just around the corner. And um, I guess while I'm over here too, I won't film the neighbors over here. The house right over here, RIP Steve, because, well, Steve passed away as well. Um, and then right after that, let's, let's come quickly over here. I'll show you guys. Raining, it's, it's never rains in Southern California, but it does. Um, all right, so you can see the uh, better view here. My space over here. And uh, that's where Kurt Perma's, the houses over here, the tall, skinny ones. Uh, if you look at Google Maps on the property, that was part of the main house as well. Uh, way, way back in the day, we're talking like 50s and stuff. Uh, right across the street was Kurt's, or is, is still um, Kurt's uh, son, his oldest son. He's a fire captain. Hermas, good people, good people, good people. We both got our flags up over there. Um, yes, no trespassing. 
So, last year this time, uh, I was getting ready for work, right about as I'm doing now, having my coffee. And uh, right over this direction, right here, just kind of standing here and uh, contemplating the morning as I, as I do in the morning. Usually the sun kind of comes up right over this way and it's beautiful, but you know, we got, we got clouds. No big deal on the clouds over here. Uh, I love it, it's, it's nice. So I'm hanging out right there and uh, I see uh, a dark figure, I guess, is uh, coming across from the alleyway. Uh, he's got a hood on, uh, it's cold, windy, and uh, I used to call Kurt, I said, hey old man, what are you doing out here? And, He's, he's bundled up and he's got coffee. I didn't even see his face, to come to think of it. And um, he's got his coffee and I I tell him, I just kind of go, I say, hey, Kurt, you know, man, like, it's cold. Uh, you know, be careful out there. Get inside, get, get warm, get warm. Well, he continues walking all the way down and around the corner and walks on over in this place. And I walk into my place and uh, and I head off to work, and uh, yeah, I head off to work, and I come back, and I come home from work, and I park from work. This was uh, this would be tomorrow, I guess. And uh, Kurt's youngest son, or one of his sons, he had several sons, is outside with uh, Big Mike, who used to hang out right here for a little while. We just kind of camp out on my patio. I love you, Big Mike. I love you, Permas. And um, find out that uh, Kurt had uh, had passed away, and he passed away in his chair, similar, the exact same chair as Exib's two chairs, and uh, he gave me that one. And then I don't know, I guess uh, another week later, or something like that, he passed away, and it folded up in it. And um, gosh, and that, that's he, he was here for a long time. He he was old school. He's classic San Diego PB local. And um, yeah, so it's been playing heavy on my mind this morning. Um, I got a lot of other stuff going on, but uh, this is kind of my little space here where I put stuff that uh, means a lot to me. And uh, let's bring this over to here. Let me kind of see. In loving memory, Kurt William Perma, February 24th, 2022. So this would have been his last day. And RIP, Kurt, my friend, my neighbor, my PB dad, as I said in the, in the church, miss you, buddy. And uh, I know that you are here in spirit you're watching over me as I go through these challenges here with this so-called new owner. And um, yeah, we, we hold out, we hold strong, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Kurt. See you on the other side, my friend.